Total War Warhammer 3 in part 16 of my Scarborough in the Exile campaign. Through sheer dumb luck, we managed to conquer the Gardener in the last episode. We learned that Scarbrand has a healing cap, and that healing cap is dangerous. We're going to move him north. We're going to immediately come on after the Silvered Tower of Sorcerers. Looks like they've got a, a minor army here. As soon as they see him, they're going to start recruiting. So the plan's going to be throw him into Portal, and then recruit three cannons. Fill up the army with cannons. They're a mixture of chariot and artillery, so that's going to be, I think, going to be wonderful. And over here with Rug the Third, who has been renamed. I noticed that we have drawn his winds of magic down to nearly nothing. So what we're going to do instead is move him as far as we can. And then put him into combat trials. They're going to take a little bit of attrition. But they're going to gain Winds of Magic per turn, some Skulls, and some experience. So, as long as we get the Winds of Magic back above the normal, or back above this low one here, where we have less leadership and physical resistance, we'll be better off. And this army is remustering, so we're going to have to do some sneaky maneuvers to get him out of the, the settlement. Because that, that settlement is going to be just as powerful as this previous one. Let's see... We definitely need to start moving on these Nurgle settlements. I think the plan is we're going to wipe out all of the minor settle uh, minor nations, as it were. We'll leave Kugath to deal with the Ice Queen and the forces of Zinch over here, the Oracles, with Kairos to deal with Cathay. And then that leaves us the opportunity to attack pretty much whoever we want and just commence whatever slaughter we desire. Leave things nice and open. Let's see, for our buildings, I'm going to leave most of them be, because it's just how much... I'm concerned on how much we're going to be losing next turn. But I think we could afford this. Eh, let's try it. Those were 190 a piece, right? We're pulling all over the place. We'll find out. Okay, so we're even making a little bit more money. Winds of Pain is kicked off. Scarbrand is going to be doing nothing for at least one more turn. I figure we may have convinced them to pull this army back, but maybe not. Let's grab Warlord Shax and... Have him come back over into the catacombs so they can actually recruit and not lose Winds of Magic. Oh, the Hellforge shows we need a certain amount of money, but we're able to recruit them again. I'm going to put them in Scarbrand's army again, I think. We are so low on cash. There's not a lot we can do but sit and defend for now. Oh, we might as well do some damage. I'll just hand his replenishment. That's not super useful. And then damage walls. There are no walls. Gross. Okay, we'll move him past them. As a scout. See if there's any other armies moving around. He decided to abandon ship. Interesting. Glock is moving down towards Zane, who is mustering as fast as they can. That's fine by me. We'll just move you south and then into raiding stance. Make some cash. Do we have any debuffs at the moment? Looks like we still do. I'm oh, just kidding, never mind. I think we're, we're fine. As long as we're in the middle here, it's entirely neutral and nothing's going on. Okay, that's all we've really got time for. I need to... Let's see if we can make a little bit of cash real quick. Crewer Geyser would be rather nice. But Scarbrand's right behind here, so... And we'll throw it in. I don't think I have one for this province just yet, so... It'll do. Alright, the Flaming Scribes are gone, and then Nurgle is now ascendant. Fair enough. Yeah. We can. We have more than enough movement to reach the tower. It looks like Blister Gall came back to attack us as well, which works out. We may be able to smash their entire 
faction here in one turn. Give us a close victory. Will it kill any of our troops? How to give us medium casualties? I don't really want that. Let's send this on in. Try out our new skull cannons. So what we learned in our last siege against Nurgle is these towers have anger issues. We're going to do the exact same thing we did last time, though. We're going to send all of the troops, I think, up this way. They were able to blow a lot of them up last time, so we'll grab these three. Keep them as spread out as we can. Put them a little ways behind. And then the dual weapons that we want to make it in the walls behind them. Armies of the Dark Gods. Put Scarbrand up front. Four dogs really can't do anything until we get the gates down. So let's throw them back. Hopefully out of range. Skull cannons I'm going to have flying out of the woods up there. These blood crushers I'm going to keep back behind everyone else as well. Army and you two. There's a nice forest for you to hide in. Until the battle's over. Yeah, let's take a look at our new... I mean, I'd be upset if a kid was rolling at me at top speed. I'd rethink all the decisions that led me there. Alright, Scarbrand, knock that wall down. They're doing their job, too. You knock that wall down as well. Everyone else? Well, not everyone, I guess. Northern Barbarians. And then you guys hang out right behind Scarbrand. Doggos aren't getting shot, so they're fine where they're at. Yeah, that gate should be going down quick. It's not going to keep Scarborough right out for long. Let's go ahead and summon in one of the blood letters. Oh, that's rigged. I can't summon it behind their walls. That's fair enough. Surge forward, minions. Don't worry about your brothers that didn't make it. They are not worthy. Oh, he's through. Awesome. Chase those idiots down. You hang out in the middle of the field, and then you, you go chop their strongest, which would be the Plague Toads. I should hold up the drones. Yeah, we'll just summon stuff all over the place. Get them, Scarbrand. Banner Hellfire. Oh, there's their boss. Kill him. Blop, 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 blop. Activate all the abilities. What is his, um... I'm oil brag. I'm talking about Scarbrand at 1.5k weapon strength. That is insane. Alright. You guys, everyone in. We just need to take the walls so that they stop firing those down on us. Let's draw the skull cannons in. Let's cover and bring these Ralph flies down. I changed my mind. There's their boss. I don't know why we're letting him live. Yeah. We'll bring in Billy the Bloodthirster. Leaves some depots on his way in this time. Ooh, almost. He does kind of moonwalk in. Ooh, these guys are losing bad. I think they just got bombarded on their way in. It says they're annihilating those uh, plague bearers, which they absolutely are. See, like one shield laying on the ground. Well done, lads. Or Scarbrand up. Gerald's doing his job right. Let's 
grab our cavalry and see if we can drag them through. They aren't really doing anything, so we'll bring them down after these plague bears. Look out for this pretty, pretty easily here. Oop. The old dude, dude of doom. We definitely control the walls. They're just trying to run away from us at this point. Bring them down. These plague bears went outside. Other oh, marauders. Brave. The one lad getting a rear charge here. All right, Scarbrand. Who can we send you after that matters? There's their boss. Summon in some more letters. We should have this one pretty quick. And then cavalry in after these nerglings. Since we've got the summons. Unleash death. We're here a little bit late. Alright, let's speed things up. That should be that. We gotta be waiting on someone to crumble away. See you later, guys. Alright, another decisive victory. Oh, I was hoping for a little bit more cash. I mean, there's the cash I was looking for. Sold. followers and then we'll see how much further up north oh not quite although where's the 25 percent there it is do some sneaky maneuvers bring Shax over and put him into ambush as well that way they see neither of the armies. Right. Hide here. Yup. Hide here. Let's see. Geyser's not a bad one. Yeah. And then we'll... Throw in the infrastructure upgrades because they're pretty cheap. That is 4,000. We'll do one of them. Although... Infernius should be ready to go now. I can find it. There we go. Beautiful. That's what we've been waiting for. Yep. The Demonic Fortress, and for the last one, I will probably switch it over to the Dimensional Cascade, just so we can then power through our, our military buildings we need. Alright, we'll keep an eye on the cash from here. We're raiding. If we could bring Glock into that battle... We just stay right next to his big chunky self. There's no way they try fighting both of us, right? And we'll give them some bowls, too. They're not going to be super useful, but they'll, they'll hold the line. Skill points for Gerald. Beautiful. What do we really need to give you now, Gerald? I'm trying to figure it out. I guess Deadly Onslaught. That's a pretty decent one. Scarbrand. This is the one I've been really trying to figure out. And we just max his abilities for now, and then... We decide from there. I'm not sure if we want... I don't know. Still have to figure out what we're going to do for his final army. I think melee defense is for the weak. A tool of corn's wrath. Hero hasn't been moved. Probably this guy over here. Contest of the Blood God! Well, let's see what we can disrupt on this man. We can just hinder a punishment. That's not super useful. Such eh. Make sure I we succeed. Sow. Gain himself a Chaos Steed. Well done. Name him and take care of him. Red Corruption. Alright, well, we will ignore these other building upgrades. 
and hopefully this one doesn't run back this way. Hey, perfect. And see you later. We will offer them up as tribute. Hounds of War, so now those flesh hounds have... Oh, and the War have more hounds, too. Cool. Bonus versus large. Oh, no. We gained some hate couture, or hot couture. A traveling clothier sets up her stall offering garments. I don't think that that would... would work on anyone in our kingdom. We need to purge the settlement of the weakness. All right, Shaq. Can we re quick recruit these guys? Yeah, that'll be perfect. And then you all just move in and surround the settlement if you need to. We'll see what they're rolling with. Oh, it'll give us a Pyrrhic victory. I want them to come out and fight us on the field. We will give this banner to... I think the dogs. They have magic attacks normally, so this will give them flaming attacks and more weapon strength. So one circle up. Wait for them to move out on us, because they they have a, more numbers that usually incentivize them to attack. Can he jump into the army while well, he's here? Ooh, that's the way. That is the way. Okay, so with Scarbrand, I'm going to move him to over here. And then send him into combat after I give him that upgrade. So, maim. We will go ahead and get Kale. And then I think we'll go for the Harbingers of Death. But I eventually want to give him Minotaurs and a Bloodthirsters. So let's raise this settlement here. Auto resolve. And skulls for the skull throw. Sweet. Another drill master. Oh, and another bloodstone. Those oh, are always useful. I and with that movement, we can get over here to the Cliff of Beasts as well. Plan, we're going to go ahead and sack and then occupy. A close victory. We took some damage from that previous one. Does this one have walls set up for us now? No, it wouldn't. It would only. It would ask us to set something up. They've just got a lot of troops defending. That's no problem. We'll send this one in and we'll fight this ourselves. Okay, so since our front line is weakened, we probably could have merged some of these guys together to make this a little less dicey, but either way, I think we've got it. Let's grab uh, the normal warriors. I'm going to do the kind of phalanxes I do. We're just going to bunch the guys up. Make them a little more chalky than they actually are. The group. And then... We've got one for the back. Put Gerald on this side. Scarbrand over here. And the three skull cannons. I want to keep them together, so we'll put all three of them over here. Okay, and then... Warhounds. Plus... Skull Crushers. Or oh, these are the Blood Crushers. We need the Skull Crushers because they've got the anti-large. We'll get there. Send them in. Ooh. Mess with the map there a little bit more. Although the Toads are not nearly as scary to Scarbrand as... But we're going to throw something at him. Oh, they don't have good range there. All right, Gerald, pull you forward. They're going to put up barricade there, which... Fair enough. We'll just move the, the line forward. Same with you guys. They should annihilate this group. 
pull these dogs out. Starbrand, let's pop all your abilities. Rampage everyone around you as well. Stop those Ralphwise cold. And this unit over here needed a little bit of help. Plague bearers aren't slouches. That's right. Drop them in the half. Your swords are shorter, therefore you're weaker. Just how that stuff works. Send the dogs back in. Back here on this side. Blood, wolf, and axe. Scoot them forward. Chaos warriors. You two go after the plague bears. Everyone else turn around and fight the rough flies. Looks like everyone's just running away from Scarbrand, causing it make it a little bit harder for him to lock anyone down. Tends to be how it works. Now you guys. We'll grab this half, send him after them. Alright, we go help out. Alright, they got stomped out. Let's send the dogs after these nerglings here. Cap this point and send them forward. There it goes. Alright, after these nerglings on this side. Pop all of your abilities. Sacrifice them. Then our cannons we will go ahead and throw into melee. Help Scarbrand out. Didn't necessarily need it, but help us help. Weapons move in on the plague bears, and then these two cowards get the, the toadies. Blood Father, guide me. And they just want to run away. Sacrifice. Coward stuff. They're smushing them, no problem. Those dogs are taking a little bit of damage. Scarbrand some assistance. Rampage everything around us, so it's not leaving. That's why they were trying to get away. Yep, not worried about the spawn. Let's stop those exalted plague bears. Get Scarbrand to give him a smack. He's just wandering around. There it goes. Alright, let's see if we can. Make sure nothing's going bad over here on this side. Man, Gerald here has a great gate of corn we can go ahead and use, and we haven't. Which is a shame. Chaos Warriors. Make clean. Nice, I set this thing too far. Come back and cap that point, please. We're going to send these doggos up, because they look like they took some a little more damage than I wanted them to. A whole bunch of mess over here. All of you guys start chopping that down. Scarbrand's having a hard time locking down these, uh, these salty plague bears. Healthy boys. Look at their, their lord instead. Little tag team him, he should go down twice as fast. And give him the doot doot. On ours? Sold, yes it is. Drop them barricades down. That one's running through. Stay right here. And get them. They brought down this barricade. Sure enough. Reinforcements. Oh, 
Oh, they're getting their grenades in on him now. Fools. It wasn't enough. They're all piecing out on this side. See you later, idiots. And in today's episode of Scarborough doesn't need an army, now we take another settlement. We will be sacking that for another 11,000. Sold? Can we turn around and immediately go ahead and settle that? We sure can. All right. And that will start our colonization of the whole province. As long as those idiots over there don't try anything. Throwing the crewer guys are just to help out. But this is their final settlement. Let's see if they want to move out on us. Let's move towards the was the Pillar of Prowess before we can get towards the Pillar of Wrath. I would like to do I think dog fighting. Blood crushers don't really need fire resistance. Range for skull cannons seems pretty good. That's 25% extra. I mean, letting our minotaurs snort blood seems like something PETA would not be happy with. Grants the corn's gift banner to your faction. 5% upkeep for all blood hosts. Huh. Okay. We're gonna do dogfighting. That's my choice. Both of you have some more skills. Makes sense to me, and we will take it. Both of those in to kill. How many you have left, Scarbrand? Six. Well, that, that works out. So we can do three into Harbingers of Death, one into Kill for Corn, and then we can hopefully pick out one of these, couple of these Gold Chevron ones. Physical Resistance, Melee Defense. That's for our Corn Warriors. So Frontline, Minotaurs and Bloodthirsters and spawn, which we're not using spawn, but you know. The doggos and cavalry. And then finally, soul grinder and cannon and gore beast. Ooh, it's a hard choice. I kind of just want to do flesh hounds and, and minotaurs for his final army and transfer all the elite corn soul, uh, like the elite oh, chaos warriors shit. over to one of the other oh, regiments. Right. We'll give this guy a scarred veteran, give him more health. And we should get yeah, with 30,000. Let's do a, let's do a good bit of upgrading here. We need the crewer guys, or gives us extra corn corruption. That's max. Gives 20 income, that's not much. Control is sitting pretty high. We will go ahead and we really don't have the Cornate Furnace anywhere. Yeah, I'll throw this in. That'll just unlock it into our global. I do. We're going to do most of our recruiting via global, so that's why I don't really care so much about having a centralized province for military. I'm bad at doing that anyway. There's really no other upgrades we can do. With all this cash. Oh no, he died. <laughs> there was another army hiding. That makes sense. Okay, uh, let's pull back just a little bit then. And see if we can't... I don't know what we want to do, honestly. Maybe pull over here into this forest. If the ambush fails, he may have a really, really bad day. Be a good for Ed. Nice valiant defeat, though, huh? Oh, yeah, we can just do this. Cheat codes. Better catacombs it is. And we'll definitely upgrade that because there's no reason not to. I thought I said we'll upgrade that because there's no reason not to. 
That's right. Don't disrespect me like that. Your upgrades. Yeah, what is going on here? When I say spend the money, I mean spend the money. What kind of deals Tribe we can make, though? Chaos Everyone hates us. I mean, I mean, it makes, makes things easy. Destroy is the only option. The rifts have gone. The demonic hosts that have crossed the maelstrom have lost their link to the Chaos Realms. Which makes me happy. I don't think we were having to deal with any of the vestiges of the Chaos Rebellions Stars anyway. The they live with a Pyrrhic victory. I don't really want to assault the town. Not even a little bit. I want to do a land battle. Should you will let me do a land battle. Apart. How many turns have we got to send more skulls? Six. That's still a lot. The I think I'm just going to let... Oh, that's a pretty sizable army. You know, so let's just let this rebellion take them out, but that's probably not going to happen. Great clip of beasts. And yeah, we'll put you into Force March. We're pretty much... I mean, now that Scarbrand's back, it's time to expand the Empire. We could immediately stab these guys in the back, and I think I will. Problem is we have a couple deals with them. Let's... Hmm. It's a broken wheel. Yeah, and we're gonna go ahead and break our non-aggression pact. This betrayal was long foreseen and military access. Can I do both of these without having a reliability hit? Ooh, I can. I don't think I can declare war on him for a few turns, though. Which is fine. We'll just... We'll just run through your territory. If you want to declare war on me, that works. It makes things nice and easy. The tree hammers are still on our side. May send them some cash. You're in the tyrant's tent now. What do yeah, you let's send you a medium gift. Enjoy. That all. We are definitely your main threat. That is that is fact. The only faction that likes us, I think, besides Kevin. All right. Well, now that we've got the cash. I wanted to have him in ambush, but maybe I want to give him more troops. Conflicted. We need to see if we can get the ambush to work. Perfect. What other upgrades here? We gotta get the crucible. Sea of blood, and then in the catacombs, I think I'm also gonna throw in. Some of the trophy rack's probably a good idea. Do we have the control building here? No, we don't. Let's throw that one in. Make sure we don't have to worry about any rebellions. Still more upgrades. And like I said previously, the Crucible is forever. And we'll do walls. Walls of the chasm. It's kind of at a important crossroads here. I don't think it's really going to matter, but if you're into that kind of thing, it's a strategic point. Gained supervisors. We can move even further. I mean, that's y'all's funeral. Got a cult down here at the Blighted Grove. I'm probably going to leave that one alone. We're probably going to leave that one alone. We're just going to move directly after the Crystal Spires. You have not even a scintilla of awareness to what is happening here, Bloodborne. You now really don't like us, huh? Do you want to possibly have a war? 
Yeah, let's go declare war. Be a surprise war. He teleported over here. Did he not win that fight? I'm confused. Yeah, I'm going to leave that be. Oh, I can't quite get over there. I don't really want to lose a lot more of my bloodletting, so we may just, may just go in after Tertius here. Tertius. Nah, I'll come over here and attack the Crystal Spires. We'll be smart. Oh, Fractus, you don't even know what's about to happen to you. Yeah, they're doing the same thing I am. They're hiding. I don't trust it. Oh, I don't trust it. Acceptable. So we may be able to take that town. The Slanesh Towers are a mess. That's the only that issue. And hard decisions all over the place. Get them a little closer. And try another ambush. That is a full you army right may there. Touch me only in dreams. Looks like they're going after the burning monolith. Works out for me. Big time. 900. And then since that one is directly on the cusp of the battle, we'll give it the three-headed Sinthounds. Awesome. Maybe Cerberuses. More upgrades. I don't need to put in the cult building here at the Blighted Grove. Cliff of Beasts, however, I will. We'll definitely do the control building for now. Demons. Come on. I, I don't think they're going to come out after us now. At all. We'll, we'll take the fight to them if they don't. My ambush failed. Oh, I didn't realize I was close enough to the the town. Or maybe I'm not. They've got three whole armies now. That is a lot of sword infantry. But not a lot of anything else. I don't know. I almost think we could take that one. Because these guys don't have... They do have anti-infantry. What is your bonus versus armor? Okay, I guess I'm not allowed to click on you guys. I just want to know how much armor piercing you have. Seven. I want to fight that battle so bad. I just think it's a bad idea. We'll pull back. Hubris has killed one too many rugs. <laughs> Warlord Shacks, you can go ahead and, and let Auto Resolve smush these fools. Rejoice. And we'll sack it and raid the next turn. Or this turn, either one. I guess we've got so many skulls, we'll just we'll just conquer the settlement. Oh, just kidding. Who are you? Leave. Cran. Frickin' idiot. We gained a plague from that too, which is exactly as you'd expect. And we're gonna take the town. Okay, and then we'll grab. Ooh, maim's not a bad idea to stop the plague, but it only keeps it from spreading, so we'll just do destroy. And that gets everything back under our control. Throw in that iron camp. And Warlord Shax gained himself some skills. Let's do. What's your army? Mostly warriors of corn. And let's make you stronger for now. Physical resistance. And then you don't get your gate until rank 13, so we've got a little ways to go on that. There's three armies messing around over here. 
And they jumped into into this march dance to get back. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna play a little sneaky to drag them out then. How far can they go? They're in march, so that's gonna confuse me a little bit. So if that one can make it all the way to here, I just need to pull back pretty much to the end of the... We'll do some raiding up here. Or they can't reach me. Yep, steal some cash. And Scarbrand, you are going to besiege the town of Crystal Spires. And that doesn't hurt our reliability. Oh, just kidding. Yeah, it does. <laughs> well, you know what it is. Scarbrand isn't meant to be reliable. This is a battle we'll go ahead and fight in the next episode. That's all the time I've got for today. I have been Space Wizard Total War. Leave a like and subscribe if you had a good time here today, and I'll see you on the next one.